been about two weeks since we filled the tank and began the cycle of this aquarium. Now, a week ago, we added a bottle of Dr. Tim's one and only bacteria to help establish the bacterial colony in the tank. Now, with that bacteria, we had to shut off our UV sterilizer as well as a protein skimmer for a couple of days. We had a big bacterial bloom, which caused the water to get very cloudy. Right now, it's starting to clear, but still obviously not as clear as it will be in another week or two. Now, the only livestock we've added to point was some three bottles of tigger pods by Reed Mariculture. And this is to establish a colony of copepods within the aquarium and they'll provide great food for fish and corals when we introduce them later on. Now, we have used this aqua mop a lot to clean, clean the glass. At this point, there's no hard coral and algae growing, so this is a great tool to use. It's the aqua mop by Continuum Aquatics. Just easy to wipe down the glass and keep it clean. Now, to create some bio load in the tank, we didn't add any livestock except for the tigger paws, but what we did do is add some table shrimp just from the grocery store, let that rot and decay within the tank to create food to feed our bacteria. So right now we're just monitoring our water quality. We're going to do our first real set of complete tests within another week or so. If those come out good, we're going to go ahead and introduce some snails and inverts at that point, start getting a little bit of algae cleaned off these rocks, and get ready to, in, to add our first corals into the tank. So we'll bring you another update soon. That's it for now. Thanks, guys.